everyone, I am JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make these fun felt envelopes. And these are perfect for Valentine's Day and you can decorate them however you want. The supplies you'll need to make these are a piece of felt and I will be using pink for Valentine's Day. You will also need yarn and the size I'm using is bulky 5. For the closure of your envelope, you can either use a button or a bead. You will need some dental floss. You will also need scissors and a roller. To decorate your envelope, you can use buttons, rhinestones, even pieces of felt like hearts, or even puppy paint. And finally, you will need a glue gun or a very strong glue. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin, we're going to take our piece of felt and we're just going to fold it in half. Now we're going to need to cut this in half and you can use your ruler to be precise. So mine is nine inches, so I'm going to make a mark at four and a half inches. And I'm also going to make one down at the bottom. If you want, you can make a line from these two points, but I'm just going to cut mine down the center. Now you can use either of these. I'm just going to stick with this one. And you're going to open it up, and we're now going to cut off three inches of this. I'm going to cut off from this end, and you're just going to measure out three inches, and you can mark it or just cut it. And now cut straight across, and you can even draw a line if you want to. Now please fold your piece of felt in half. We are going to form a point on one of the ends. I'm just going to choose this one. And you're going to start from this corner here and you're going to cut out. And you should form a triangle on the outside here. This is what it should look like once you've cut it. And now you can open it back up and put the point at the top. This is where you can decide how large you want to make your envelope and the flap. So I'm just going to fold mine and test it out. I made my envelope three inches and now the flap once it's folded over should look like this. But you can decide how large you want to make your envelope and your flap. Now we're going to make sure that you can see this crease so you might want to push it down very hard. You can open this and we are going to put glue on either side. Just a line of glue and then we're going to fold it over to secure it. Now I'm going to fold mine over. Now we have our envelope ready and we are going to work on the closure. So for this part you will need a button or a bead. You'll also need about an 8 inch piece of yarn. And you'll need some dental floss. You're going to start by just putting some yarn onto your dental floss and folding this in half. Make sure that your ends are meeting and you can just twist it. And we are going to start by going up through the back of the button and you can choose either of the holes. Now we're going to go back through the front. I'm now just going to pull my yarn until each side is equal. Our closure is ready and we're going to see where we want to place it on our envelope. So when you fold this over, I'm just going to place mine right about here. You can place yours anywhere you want. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to mark it with the chalk. On either side of this, I'm just going to make a slit with my scissors. And to do this, I just like to fold it and then carefully cut a little hole. Now I'm going to thread either end of the yarn into both of these holes. So I'm going to place this one on this side, and then I'm going to take the other one and go through the other side. Go into the inside and you're just going to tie this into a knot, and you can tie it as many times as you want. I'm just going to tie mine three times. Now I'm just going to cut the loose ends off. Please take your flap and fold it over. And if you feel your button, make a mark with your chalk. We're going to pinch this in half the opposite direction. So this way. And we're just going to take our scissors and make a tiny slit. You can take your button and go through this and it will stretch it out. 
If you were unable to get your button through, you can always make your hole a little bit larger. Now we are going to decorate our envelope. For your envelope, you can decorate it any way you want, and you can use any of these options if you want. And I have two hearts cut out, and I'm just going to glue them down. My envelope is finished. This is what it looks like when it's done, and I can't wait to fill it and make more of them to give to my friends. And you can do the same for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you make some, I'd love to see how you decorated yours. My Instagram is craftlifeusa, so please tag me in a photo. And please don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!